Benjamin begins the essay with a quote from Paul Valery. Valery suggests that our ability to create and use art has evolved significantly from ancient times thanks to advancements in technology. These advancements have made our techniques more precise and adaptable leading to changes in how we think about and create art. Valdry predicts that these changes will continue, potentially transforming not only how art is made, but also our understanding of what art is. When Marx critiqued capitalism, he aimed to predict its future development based on its fundamental conditions. He foresaw capitalism exploiting the working class more intensely over time and eventually creating conditions conducive to its own demise. The changes in the cultural sphere took longer to manifest than in the economy but are now evident. Predictions about proletarian art after assuming power or art in a classless society are less relevant compared to understanding how it's under current production conditions. Such insights are valuable as they challenge outdated concepts and can be used as tools for revolutionary purposes. Art reproduction has a long history, from manual replication by craftsmen to modern mechanical methods like, mechanical methods like lithography and photography. Each advancement allowed for greater accessibility and circulation of art. Photography, in particular, revolutionized visual reproduction by surpassing previous methods in accuracy and speed. This evident reproduction technology paralleled changes in society's conception of art. Even the most faithful reproduction of art lacks the original's unique presence in time and space which shapes its history and authenticity. Technical reproduction, like photogra photography, alters the relationship between the original and its copy. It can reveal aspects of the original imperceptible to the naked eye and transport the artwork to new contexts. However, this process diminishes the aura, the unique authentic signal destabilizing its historical significance and authority. The rise of mechanical reproduction has profoundly impacted art and culture, leading to a fragmentation of tradition and a reactivation of reproduced objects in new contexts. This phenomenon is, close, is closely tied to mass movements, with film being a powerful agent in both preserving and challenging cultural heritage. Great historical films, for instance, demonstrate this tension between preservation and transformation, illustrating the dynamic relationship between tread modernity. Throughout history, changes in human perception have been influenced by both natural factors and historical circumstances. For example, in the 5th century, significant shifts in population led to the emergence of new art forms and a different way, of, different way of pursuing the world. Scholars like Regal and Wyckoff examined these changes in late Roman art but did not delve into their social implications. However, today we have a better chance to understand how changes in perception are linked to social transformations. Aura, which refers to the unique presence of an object, even when it is nearby, helps illustrate the current decline of aura in society. This decline is driven by the desire to make things more accessible and reproducible. Modern media like picture magazines and new picture magazines and newsreels offer reproductions that differ from what we see with our eyes, leading to a shift in perception where uniqueness is overshadowed by reproducibility. This reflects a broader trend of adjusting reality to fit the masses' needs and vice versa. Traditionally, a work of art's uniqueness was tied to its role in ritual, whether magical or religious. Even during Renaissance, when art became more secular, it retained a connection to ritual. However, the advent of photography and socialism 
signal signaled a crisis for traditional art prompting a shift towards the idea of art for art's sake this shift freed art from its ritualistic ties and paved the way for its politicization art can be valued in terms of its cult value or exhibition value cult emphasizes the object significance within a ritual context while exhibition value focuses on its presentation to a wider audience as art practices became emancipated from ritual they became more accessible for exhibition leading to a transformation in their nature in their nature today photography and film exemplify this shift towards emphasizing exhibition value over cult value in art in photography the shift from cult value to exhibition value becomes evident cult value which was once tied to ritual and significance finds its last stronghold in the human face captured in early photographs these images evoke a sense of nostalgia due to their unique portrayal of individuals however as people gradually distance themselves from photographic images exhibition value becomes more dominant this shift is exemplified by photographers like adgett who captured deserted streets turning them into evidence of evidence of historical events with political undertones as photography gained prominence it sparked debates about its artistic merit compared to traditional painting however this debate seems trivial in hindsight as it failed to acknowledge the profound transformation that photography brought to art similarly when film emerged theorists struggled to understand its nature and impact some compared it to hieroglyphs or even saw it as a form of prayer despite the emergence of groundbreaking films such as opinion public and the gold rush some th- continued to assign ritualistic or even sacred significance to film this demonstrates a misunderstanding of the medium's true potential and its unique ability to convey the fantastical and supernatural in the realm of film the performance of an actor differs significantly from that of a stage actor while a stage actor directly presents their performance to the audience a film actor's performance is mediated by the camera this means that the camera guided by the camera man can change positions and angles influencing how the actor's performance is captured The final film is then composed from various shots creating a sequence determined by the editor consequently the actor's performance undergoes optical testing and lacks the immediate feedback from an audience allowing viewers to adopt a critical stance similar to that of the camera in film it's crucial that the actor represents themselves before the camera rather than embodying a character for an audience This shift was recognized by Pirandello who described how film actors may feel detached and alienated from their performance as it becomes a mere image on screen devoid of its original aura. The film industry driven by profit fosters the cult of the movie star promoting a superficial personality rather than preserving the actor's genuine aura. Thus the film challenges traditional concepts of art and personality. often serving as a platform for revolutionary criticism the democratization of film mirrors the evolution seen in literature where the distinction between author and audience becomes increasingly blurred just as more readers began to write with the rise of the press film offers opportunities for anyone to participate as a subject or creator This democratization is more pronounced in cinematic practices in countries like Russia where non-professional actors portray themselves highlighting their own experiences and work processes however in capitalist film industries commercial interests often overshadow the authentic representation of ordinary people in the world of filmmaking the process of shooting a film offers a spectacle unlike anything seen before unlike in theater where the audience can identify the stage as the place of performance in film there is no specific spot where the scene is not seen as an illusion 
the intri intricate involvement of mechanical equipment in filming renders the scene highly artificial. This stands in stark contrast to painting, where the painter maintains a distance from reality while the cameraman delves deep into it. To illustrate this contrast, consider the analogy and a magician. A magician heals by maintaining distance from the patient using authority and gestures, while a surgeon operates by physically entering the patient's body. Similarly, a painter maintains a natural distance from reality, while a cameraman immerses deeply into it, deeply into it capturing multiple fragments assembled under new rules. This profound difference in approach yields significant implications. The representation of reality in film due to its thorough integration with mechanical equipment offers a view of reality stripped of all is a crucial aspect of artistic expression. The reaction of the masses towards art undergoes a shift with mechanical reproduction. The traditional reaction to a painting by artists like Picasso becomes more progressive towards movies like those by Chaplin. This progressive reaction is mar marked by a direct emotional engagement combined with expert analysis, reflecting a fusion of visual and emotional enjoyment with critical understanding. In contrast, the reaction to the screen is both critical and receptive as individual reactions are influenced by the mass audience response expected to elicit. This phenomenon is most evident in the film medium where responses are intertwined and mutually influencing. Unlike architecture or epic poems, which historically allowed for collective experiences, painting lacks the capacity for simultaneous collective engagement. While, engagement. While paintings were traditionally experienced through hierarchized mediation, the advent of mechanical reproduction challenged this dynamic, leading to conflicts in the reception of art by the masses. Thus, the same audience that reacts progressively to humorous film might react negatively to surrealism, reflecting the changing dynamics of art appreciation in response to technological advancements. The film not only captures how humans interact with mechanical devices, but also reveals how humans perceive their surroundings through these devices. Occupational psychology and psychoanalysis demonstrate how the film's techniques deepen our understanding of human behavior. Similar to how Freudian theory exposed subconscious elements in everyday speech, the film unveils hidden details of familiar environments expanding our perception. Through techniques like close-ups and slow motion, the film unveils new perspectives of familiar scenes revealing structures and movements unnoticed by the naked eye. By isolating and magnifying moments, the camera introduces us to unconscious aspects of perception, similar to how psychoanalysis reveals unconscious impulses. Art has always aimed to create, dem to create demands that could only be fully satisfied with advancements in technology. Dadaism, for example, sought to achieve effects similar to those later found in film. By deconstructing traditional art forms and provoking scandal, Dada is anticipated the sensory stimulation character experiences. Unlike paintings that invite contemplation, films bombard the viewer with rapidly changing images, disrupting the process of thought. This shock effect, similar to the sensory overload of Dadaistic art, demands heightened attention from the audience. The film's technical structure, remo structure removes the physical shock from Dadaism's moral shock creating an immersive and engaging cinematic experience. The emergence of mass participation in art marks a significant shift in how people engage with artistic works. This shift is characterized by distraction rather than fo focused attention. While some critics like Duhamel decry this trend as a decline in intellectual engagement, it actually reflects a fundamental change in how art is consumed by the masses. Traditionally, art demanded concentrated attention from the viewer who would immerse themselves fully in the work. After the rise of mass participation, art is absorbed passively by distracted audiences. This mode of reception is most evident in architecture where buildings are appreciated collectively and habitually rather than through deliberate contemplation. 
this tactile and habitual form of engagement form of engagement with art mirrors the distracted state of modern society art that appeals to this distracted audience such as film becomes a tool for exercising this mode of reception films with their shock value and sensory stimulation cater to the distracted viewer who engages with the rise of mass participation in art coincides with the increasing proletarianization of society where the masses seek expression without disrupting existing property structures fascism capitalizes on this by integrating aesthetics into politics using war as a means to mobilize technological technological resources while maintaining the status quo war with its destructive power represents a failure of society to harness technology for productive purposes leading to its misuse in conflict fascism embraces the idea of art for art's sake and sees war as a me fulfill the sensory gratification altered by technology it views war as the ultimate form of artistic expression humanity once observed by the gods now observes itself finding aesthetic pleasure even in its own destruction fascism aims to make politics aesthetically pleasing by using by turning it into a spectacle in contrast communism seeks to politicize art viewing it as a tool for advancing political ideologies and social change